Barbara? Um, are you going to do all the pumps at the same time, or are you going to do one at a time? When you get one back, you'll do the next one. You get that back, you'll do the next one. Right now, treatment plan. Because you're talking 48 weeks. No, no, no. We're, we're going to do them all at the same time. So. Okay. Um, How is that going to affect the water production overall? Uh, overall, uh, uh, treatment plant 28 is offline right now anyway, so we take it offline in the winter time. So that one's not going to be, that's not going to be affected. Um, the booster pump that I showed you on here at, at uh, treatment plant 27, the sister pump next, that, that one was six months old that was deteriorating. The sister one next to it uh, is only two months old. And although it's showing signs of deterioration already, uh, that one has enough to keep keep uh, treatment plant uh, uh, 27 running until we get uh, its sister one uh, repaired. And once we get that one repaired, then we take that one offline and and uh, fix it. So, uh, Kevin, if we change that, that injection point, that's going to possibly slow that down, correct? Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. And then at uh, treatment plant 29, uh, uh, that uh, water production uh, right now is not going to impact us by uh, taking that one offline. Uh, so we'll be in good shape there. The one pump you sh showed on the video um, that seemed to be in good shape, how old was that pump? Five years. So how come a five-year-old pump was okay and a six-month-old pump was not? That one doesn't what? have any uh, chlorine injected into that one at all. Is it bronze? It's bronze. To the best of our knowledge, it's bronze, yes. What's interesting as well, if I go ahead, add, is <clears throat> you know, like the booster in 27 that uh, we just had it repaired, and that's when it was last for six months. It was in there for four years before um, it had issues. And we took that same booster, it has a casing and everything, and all we replaced that was the bearings and then a new impeller, which is what pushes the water. And so it's the exact same pump, just with a new <clears throat> impeller, and that only lasted six months. And that's where we're, what's changed. We haven't changed anything in the treatment plant. The one lasted four years, this one lasted six months. And that's what <clears throat> we've been trying to read as much as we can and find out. That's, this internally we wondered if the, the lead free ruling that this started. That's, that's one thing that has changed from when that original impeller was put in 2009 <coughs> to what was just put in six months ago. So is the one in 2009 changed? was not lead free and the one that you put in six months ago <coughs> was lead free? Possibly because we don't know. We, we sure. don't know that specific. We just know okay. that the law, lead free, you know, the uh, change during that time. So that, that, that's a possibility. There's, we've looked at a lot of different things and we don't know okay. specifically under the timeline. we got to act before possibly knowing exactly what the cause is, but we know getting like stainless, which is much more resistant to any corrosion, should uh, you know lead to, to longer duration or longer reliability of that pump. And then I assume that you are, I'm pretty sure you're going to do this, but um, you're going to go back to the manufacturer of the six month old impeller and look at the warranty on that? Yes. Yeah, they were rebuilt. <clears throat> Okay. So you are going to check the warranty yes, yes. on it? Uh -huh. Okay. Test I knew you would. So. Are you going to get, uh, go ahead and test the possibility that it was lead free just to be safe after everything's done? To dot all your I's, cross your fingers? Um, we, we don't have the capability to test. Uh, uh, that's going to take uh, quite a bit of money. And, and okay. But what we will do is we will go back to the pump manufacturers and ask them uh, to verify, you know, if when they were casting bronze pumps back in 2008, 2009, was there a, is there a significant difference between the metallurgy of those pumps and the ones that uh, were, you know, were produced in 2012, 2013? Is there a possibility that uh, defective manufacturing could be um, part of it? I, I don't know. I, I guess anything's plausible at this point, but we yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's so right now, your goal is to just get these pumps fixed and then work out yes. any kind of warranty or any kind of liability. Well, we're do those simultaneously. Later. Is what hey, we, we didn't do. buy these yeah. from the company we can't name. 
<laughs> well, that's kind of what I went. I was thinking. <laughs> Is this another company we can't name in the future? <laughs> One thing from my experience, I had a project we I did at a chemical plant, and uh, the chlorine actually ate away a uh, uh, an alloy material that was nickel chromium with a little alloy in it, with a little aluminum in the alloy, and it was a resistance heating alloy. And I mean, it just ate this. Uh, surprisingly, you would th thought it would eat the cabinet apart, but it, it ate this alloy up instead. So, chlorine's <coughs> a, a, a pretty vicious, vicious chemical that uh, that that does a lot of damage. One more question: the pump that seemed to be in fairly good shape, does that ha that does not have chlorine coming in at any point? That's correct. It it's from the wellhead and then it goes a little ways into the arsenic treatment plant and then it receives the chlorine. The water. Uh, the water, I'm sorry, yes, the water comes up by the well and boosts. So the chlorine is added after it goes through right. that yeah. impeller. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, is there any other questions? Well, where are you ready? Yeah, I'm going to we approve the uh, emergency replacement for the four booster pumps at the uh, price not to exceed 100000 I'll second that. Have a motion second. All those in favor, raise your right hand. Four in favor and one absent. That motion carries. So, thank you. Give them a call. <laughs> yes, sir.